Here's how to get the mod menu for Minecraft 1.21.7. Let's go. Now, the first step is to click the second link in the description, which is going to put you in the mod menu page. In here, we're going to be able to download the 1.21.7. Just head over to game version and select 1.21.7. Then you're going to go ahead and hit download right here, and the download will begin for the mod menu. Now, at this point, if you already have the Fabric mod loader installed and you have a mod folder with the Fabric API, then you go go ahead and add the mod menu into that folder. And then after that, you're going to need to download the text placeholder API, which is going to be linked down in the description. If you know how to do all that just go ahead and do it and you'll be done but if you're following along after we download the mod menu we also need to download the mod menu dependencies in this case we'll need text placeholder api which is going to be linked down probably the third link i want you to go ahead and click on it that will put you over here where we're going to select game version 1.21.7 and then we're going to hit download right here the download will begin right away for the placeholder api and after that we need to download the fabric api this is another dependency for the mod menu and if you don't believe me you could check it yourself here by coming over into mod menu and seeing the dependencies right here now click on the fourth link in the description that'll place you on the fabric api page select 1.21.7 and then download the most recent one for 1.21.7 fabric api after that if you already have the fabric mod load installed just go ahead and add these three mods into your mods folder and you'll be done this time but i'm assuming most of you don't have the fabric mod loader and that's why you're watching this video so let me teach you how to install the fabric mod loader now before we go ahead and install it i want you to go ahead and draw and drop these three files into your desktop that'll be the mod menu the placeholder api as well as the fabric api and you can find those files here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. Now, once you have those files in your desktop, it's time to install Fabric. Click on the fifth link in the description. That's going to be a quick article in here on how to install Fabric in case this video is too fast for you. But if you want to go straight to the point, just go down to step one, press on Fabric. That'll redirect you to the Fabric page where we're going to press Download Universal Jar and the download for Fabric or the installer of Fabric will begin right away. And I want you to go ahead and place that file in your desktop. Now we are ready to begin the installation process. First, make sure you have closed your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher. And then just go ahead and double click on the Fabric installer. That is going to open a installer menu in here as you can see you're going to select 1.21.7 and you're going to press install now if the installer didn't open for fabric that's because you don't have java 21 java 21 it's a requirement for modding minecraft 1.21.7 so i'll leave you this article in the description but pretty much you just download java hit next a couple of times and then you'll be able to open the installer so again if when you try to open the fabric installer it opened as a web browser a text document maybe didn't even open at all then just go ahead and use that link in the description to install java and then you'll be able to install fabric after we install fabric we're going to press ok in here we're going to close the installer and we're going to delete the fabric installer from our desktop because we don't need that anymore now it's time to add all these mods including the mod menu into fabric for that go ahead and open your minecraft launcher and when you open the minecraft launcher if you install fabric properly you should see it selected here automatically however we're not gonna hit play just yet because we need to add the mods for that head over to installations and make sure you have modded selected in here because without modded you actually won't see fabric now once you select modded fabric will show up and i want you to hover over it and i want you to press where it says open installations folder that is going to open a folder containing a lot of files but don't freak out because we're specifically looking for a folder called mods in here go ahead and open your mods folder app and inside your mods folder you probably don't have any mods in here i do have the flashback mod which i'm not going to delete because it is compatible with fabric but you probably don't have any mods now if you don't have a mods folder guys don't freak out either just press new press folder in here and name that folder mods and you will create the mods folder yourself now inside this mods folder once you created it or found it you need to add your mods those mods are placed here in your desktop and as you can see i already have the fabric api in here however i'm gonna delete it so it doesn't get too confusing for you now like i was saying earlier just go ahead and add the mods all you have to do is drag and drop them let's say you want to add the mod menu you're going to add the placeholder mod and you're going to add the fabric api now of course add any other mod that you're going to be running with fabric as long as they're fabric and 1.21.7 you shouldn't have any issues after that after you have all the required mods in here you could close this folder head back to your minecraft launcher and hit play on the fabric loader that is going to open the fabric loader right away or it might prompt you with a little sign just read through it and if you agree hit play one more time and then the game will open and while the game opens if you need a minecraft server only for the first 25 people to use the first link in the description you get 25 off with apex hosting obviously apex hosting has like a thousand advantages of using them as your server provider but one of the great advantages is that you will be supporting the channel and actually they have locations all around the world they support any mod loader any mod pack that you want to run on your server all of that you could do so with apex hosting again the first 25 people to use that first link down below will get 25 off now let's keep going with the tutorial we see that Minecraft has loaded in here, and if we pay attention right here, right next to Minecraft Realms, we have this new button in here, which if we go ahead and press, we'll see that we have our mods menu installed in Minecraft 1.21.7, and it's working without any issues, and you guys are able to access the mods folder from here to change the settings of some mods in here and all of that, because we installed the mod menu properly. Anyways, if this video helped you out, guys, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.